Hey, what's going on guys? So it's gonna be a quick video on some tips on setting up an outdoor enclosure for your helium hotspot miner. Now, not all enclosures gonna look like this. This is just one that I put together for my synchro bit, but pretty much most um, outdoor enclosure is either gonna be plastic or metal and it's gonna have these rubber uh, gaskets or O-rings to help uh, seal out the water. Um, but all, most of the time, you know, these are dry. Sometimes they may not properly seal out water if they don't come into contact with the lid properly. Um, sometimes water will get in through these little screws um, if you don't properly seal these up. Also, Ethernet port, antenna port. So a couple tips that I want to maybe just recommend for you guys is one, um, on the rubber seals, I like to use grease. I just put like a little layer of grease on here so when I close the lid, that grease is going to help further seal up and prevent moisture and water from getting in um, over time. Um, also, I like to use Teflon tape. You could also use Teflon tape or silicone or just uh, grease on the caps that you screw on into the enclosure. So that way when you screw them in, it's just gonna help prevent water from getting in. Now on the bottom screws, water most likely will not get in, but if you have screws on top, then the screw, you know, the water can actually seep in over time due to, you know, the pressurization, uh, temperature, uh, condensation and stuff like that. So. But um, my screw does have a little rubber O-ring, but since I have a cheap case that I bought off of eBay, if you guys are wondering where I got it from, I got it from eBay, but I don't think these are available anymore. Um, but yeah, these screws do have rubber O-rings on there, but the rubber O-rings I found, eh, I don't know, I just don't trust rubber O-rings, so I just put uh, grease, and also I wrap tough on tape around the threads, and I put them in so that way it just helps better uh, seal them up. Same thing for here. Um, also the antenna, um, I did the same thing, I'll show you guys can see it, I got the little Teflon tape here, just prevents water from getting in. Um, but yeah, I mean, on the bottom screws, you shouldn't have to worry too much because the water's not going to magically go up against gravity. But wrap your antenna connectors to prevent water from seeping into connection and corroding over time. Um, but yeah, this is my outdoor enclosure, I'm up in a tree right now. Uh, with a pole, you can see just my little jerry rig set up just to get my antenna as high as possible um, to get the best results. And this is just one that I put together for my synchro bit. You can see I got a fan. I just took out the LED lights because you really don't need it. And I have the fan powered by the little uh, pins here on the synch uh, synchro bit. And so far it's been working really well. It's been keeping cool. It doesn't get hot. Even with no fan before, I was running at around 60 degrees Celsius. With this one, I think when I saw it, 25 degrees Celsius. So having a fan makes a big difference. And yeah, you can see I'm running PoE with a passive uh, injector. And yeah, that's my setup. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the quick tips. I'll see you guys later next video.